Um, <laughs> so tonight is another one of those nights where I have filmed this video probably seven different times and still have yet to get it right. I got interrupted by a freaking monsoon outside that wet all of the stuff sitting by my window, so I had to stop in the middle of a perfectly good video because of that. Um, but anyways, hopefully we can make it through this one, um, because I wanted to talk to you guys about the Dickinson's Original with ha Hazel Oil Controlling Palette. <laughs> Obviously I can't speak. Um, I love these so much. I have already gone through my first box, and my second box, which I went out and purchased, is almost empty as well, so, um, if I go out and repurchase a product that it's doing something that I like, um, I really, really like these. The little towelettes come in little packages like this because they are individually wrapped, obviously. Um, you get 20 in a box, and they're just perfect for on the go. You can throw them in your gym bag, you can throw them in um, a diaper bag if you're a mom, you can throw them in your purse if you don't have a gym bag. Um, they'd be perfect for like a beach bag if you're going to the lake or to the beach or to the pool. Um, they would just be perfect on one of those super, super hot summer days after you've been laying out and you just need something to kind of refresh your skin. Um, these would be perfect because they have aloe in them and they're super, super refreshing. Um, they're oil-free, they're non-drying, they're perfect for any skin type, um, whether you have sensitive skin or you have normal skin or combination skin, um, oily skin, I would say these are preferable for you since they are oil-free and they are oil-controlling, so, um, hello, kind of perfect for you, but they're just good all around for any skin type. Um, I have combination skin and they're not over-drying. Um, they're kind of controlling any blemishes that I have. My skin is kind of freaking out right now, um, but when my skin is not freaking out, they do a really, really nice job of, um, taking the redness out of my skin, controlling the oil throughout the day, um, and just helping keep my skin blemish-free. I mean, I don't have perfect skin by any means, but these have done a beautiful job of helping my skin kind of, um, find that right balance, which is nice, um, because I typically do not use skincare that I'm not familiar with. When I saw these in my box box, I was kind of like, uh, do I want to give these a go and try them and risk my skin not taking well to them and then freaking out and me having to deal with that, um, but I did take the risk and I'm glad I did because Dickinson's now has a fan in me for life. I absolutely love these palettes. They've done wonders for my skin, um, and they're just super handy. I will say, um, the scent is something that I was not expecting. Like I said in my last video, I wasn't really familiar with the Witch Hazel, um, as, you know, a product. I wasn't familiar with it at all. I'd heard really, really good things about it and how it does wonders for people's skin. Um, I had never experienced it until now, but it was one of the things, I don't know what I was expecting when I opened it, but the scent that came out was not what I was expecting. Um, don't get these and expect to open it and it smell like roses or flowers because that's not what you're going to get. Um, it's just a very, I don't even know what to describe the scent as. I want to say almost medicinal, but it's not, and then natural, maybe natural medicine, whatever. Um, just be prepared if you're not familiar with the scent. Um, it's a little overwhelming at first and kind of overbearing. It makes you kind of take a step back and be like, whoa, what is this? Um, but I will say the good thing about the scent is it doesn't linger for long. Um, after I'm done cleaning my face with this wipe, good to go. I don't smell anymore. I'm not noticing it, you know, sticking to my skin and me smelling it throughout the day. You know, if you have one of those makeups that you can kind of just, it smells a little funky or it smells weird for whatever reason, um, you can kind of smell it on your skin throughout the day. Not noticing that with these, and I'm not noticing it transferring from my skin to my pillows at night, um, because I use them in the morning to refresh my skin before I do my makeup, and then I use them at night after I have taken off all my makeup just to kind of get anything that I may have possibly missed. Um, and the talents themselves, they're very nicely sized. They're 5x7. They're super, super soft. Um, softer than probably any skin wipe I've ever used. 
with the exception of the Say Yes to Cucumber wipes, those are really, really nice and soft. But those are super thin and they had a tendency to rip. Um, these, while they are thin, they are nicely built. So I'm not noticing that they're ripping if I'm, you know, going to town on my face and super scrubbing my face. Um, because they kind of, they're textured. Um, they're, there's kind of like a interwoven design I want to say um, I think interlocking mesh is what the back of the box says um, and spun lace fibers so there's kind of like a weaving design on them um, that helps trap you know dirt and oil but they're super sturdy is what I'm getting at um, I'm not noticing that you know I'm going to town on my face and they're ripping in half in the middle of me trying to cleanse my face um, so that's nice so aside from the scents, which, I mean, you get used to and you'll get over it, so whatever, don't even worry about that. Um, just be prepared, if you're not familiar, that you may kind of be taken aback by the scent when you first open the towelettes. Um, the only issue I had was finding these bad little boys. Um, we got the coupon for $2 off in our box box, and at the bottom it lists stores that these are available at. They list Kroger, which if you're not familiar with Kroger, it is a supermarket in the south, and I think it's kind of only in the south, um, so if you were looking at this and thinking what is Kroger, it's a supermarket in the south, um, and according to any of my friends that don't live in the south, they have never heard of Kroger and they don't know what Kroger is, so I'm assuming it's a southern thing, kind of like Publix. If you don't know what that is, it's a supermarket in the south. Um, so it lists Kroger, Rite Aid, Walmart, Walgreens, and CVS. Um, so I ran out of mine and had a few things I needed to pick up. So I went to Walgreens because it's right down the street. Walgreens didn't have them, which I wasn't expecting because Walgreens.com has them. Kroger and Walgreens are kind of in the same parking lot. So I went to Kroger. Kroger didn't have them and I was like, okay, that's cool. So I went to CVS. CVS did not have them. Alright, Target has everything. I go to Target. Target doesn't have them. I go to Ulta because Ulta is a beauty supply store and they always have anything you need that you can't find anywhere else. Guess what? Ulta didn't have them. And I knew that Walmart had them because I'd seen them at Walmart, but I was trying to avoid going to Walmart. Um, inevitably, had to make the trip to Walmart because I could not find them at any other store. I did not check Cro or I did not check Kmart because Kmart is on the other side of town and I very rarely go around that side of town. So I didn't check there and I didn't check um, Publix because it didn't even cross my mind to check Publix, um, but they probably don't have them there either. And I did not check Rite Aid only because Rite Aid is in the same vicinity as Kroger and Walgreens and Rite Aid is actually on the opposite side of the street from Kroger and Walgreens, but it's a few hundred feet away, like down the street, and I don't go down that way, so I wasn't even going to bother with it. Um, I figured if nobody else had them, Rite Aid surely wasn't going to have them, so I didn't even want to waste, you know, the gas to drive a few hundred feet down the street to check. Um, so I went to Walmart and got them. I got my box for $5.74. Um, the suggested retail price is... $5.99 for a box of 20 so you know paid a few cents less um, and then I did use my coupon so I ended up paying like four and some change with tax and everything um, which wasn't that bad but I did some research before I started to film this video and I was already aware that Walgreens had them because I did write up a review on the wipes um, for Walgreens.com so Walgreens carries the towelettes, the toner, the foaming face wash, the gentle skin cleansing lotion, and the astringent. However, so remember I showed you $5.99 is the suggested retail price? Walgreens.com has these marks up to $7.79. Um, oh my god, no. They are marked down to $4.49 on the website, which is why I was hoping to find them in the store, because that is the cheapest I have found them, even cheaper than Walmart, which is surprising, because Walmart is typically, if you're going to get it cheap, you're getting it at Walmart. Um, so I had originally wanted to go to Walgreens so I could buy a few boxes and 
they didn't have them. And then when I was looking just now, I noticed that they were $7.79 originally. No, absolutely not. I kind of feel like that's a ripoff. You're getting a box of individually wrapped towelettes. Okay, that's super convenient and handy. But you're only getting 20 of them. You can get a resealable package of makeup wipes from almost any brand in the drugstore for less than that and get more wipes. You know what I mean? So I was kind of taken aback by that and a little surprised, although not too much because Walgreens does have a tendency to mark up their products almost $5 more than where you can get them anywhere else. Um, but Rite Aid did have the towelettes, CVS.com had the pore perfecting toner and the astringent, and then Walmart.com had the toner and the towelettes. Um, and the towelettes are priced on the website as they are in store. Um, so I mean, do with that what you will. But I just thought I would let you know where I was able to find them online and where I was not able to find them in store. So if you're going to go out and get them, go to Walmart, that's your best bet, um, because I have had no luck finding them anywhere else. Um, and if you're going to buy them online, maybe check Walgreens, um, because they are marked down to $4.49. And I think, can you use this coupon code online? I don't think you can. No, there's not a coupon code. Um, so you can only use it in store, but I mean, still, $4.49 for a box of 20 towelettes is a really, really good deal, I think. Um, However, I don't know what their shipping charges are like, so that may come around and bite you in the bum, but um, I didn't check drugstore.com because I didn't think of it until this exact moment, but um, I don't know. I love the towelettes, so if you're not using them, I highly suggest you go out and at least try them um, because they've done wonders for my skin and I absolutely love them, and if I repurchased it, it's doing amazing things for me and I will continue to repurchase this in the future um and I may even venture out and try some more of the line possibly the toner um toners have a tendency to really really dry out my skin and I try to avoid that as much as I can um but I may try that just to see you know how it works if I don't like it I'm sure there's somebody else that I can pass it on to um I know my best friend does use witch hazel and she likes it so if all else fails I can just pass it down to her um so if you're not trying them, go try them if you want to find something that works and is refreshing your skin and not over drying it and helps clear up your skin in the process if you have problematic areas kind of like I do. Um, and if you are using them, I hope you're loving them as much as I am because they are just, I love them. They're awesome. Um, but anyways, I am going to stop rambling. Yay, we made it to the video. And, um... I'm going to go because it's 2 in the morning and I will talk to you guys soon because I'm going to do a review on the Colgate Optic White Line that they did send us in our box box. Um, so be out on the lookout for that if you want to see that and if not, um, that's cool. I'm probably talking to myself anyways, but at least I know if maybe one person watches this and it helps them, then that's cool. If not, whatever. I've just spent 13 minutes talking to myself and that's fine too. So um, anyways, hope you guys are good and I will talk to you soon. Bye.